Hey guys, I'm the camera director, and this is the Nerf Old Tail Fire. I just got my hands on one of these, and I am super excited. I have filled the battery tray up, takes four to blaze. I would recommend rechargeables. Uh, 2011 and 2012 do seem to be the year for rechargeables. If uh, you can get your hands on some C or D rechargeables, if they do exist, I'm not actually sure. I would recommend using those on any of the Stampedes, Vulcans, and uh, for C's, Nitron, Swarm Fires. I'm sorry, not Swarm. Yes, it is Swarm Fires. Double uh, A, of course, Speed Swarm, etc., etc., etc. Okay. That's pretty loud. It slows down very fast. The Raven is a lot slower. Let's see what happens if we open it up when we're going. No slopes are just as fast. That's going to be a problem. Okay, well, uh, this is my in-depth review of the Hailfire. I'm planning this is going to take about four to five minutes. Make it pretty quick. Uh, the Hailfire comes with, of course, the Hailfire itself. It does not come with batteries, but it does come with four of the new Elite style clips that are half clear, half standard. They're six round. They say six here on the bottom of the clip, and then the Entrite Elite logo, Nerf logo is over here. Comes with 24 Elite Series starts, instructions, and I believe that's it. I don't think anything else. Assembly is required, and it is a pain in the butt. I will tell you firsthand to get these things on. Anyway, I am very excited to get my hand on the hand fire before the scheduled release date by Nerf, where it seems every year. Nerf is letting stuff out quicker and quicker, and this year I'm pretty sure stores just disregarded this. Of course, I got the restriction connections I have. <coughs> so, this is my kitchen. This is my broken lens right here. That's what you're seeing with the echo. Echo. Reflection. Anyway, uh, this is about a 20 foot distance to the to the countertops over there. I'm going to angle this so you can see. There we go. So the coffee maker right there is about 20 feet. Sort of do a range test on the tail fire. Uh, I didn't mention this. Well, I did, but I not in this video. The uh, jam door is clear. I really like that, and that's a good feature. It's pretty cool. So let's advance the clip. I think it's loaded up now. It's the first time I've ever fired the hail fire. So I'm holding this about uh, shoulder length. I am five foot six, so I'm guessing that's about four feet, 10 inches off the ground. Whoa! That's got some power. I like that. Unlike the Bear King, the Raven, if you fire repeatedly, it doesn't seem to be too much of a loss of power. Let's see how fast I can get these off. That time they did seem to curve down a little bit, but that's quite fantastic. They're all hitting straight ahead of me, and I'm just doing that flat. Last six starts. Did I fail somehow when I was loading this? I feel like I did. Yeah, I went past it. Can't go back. Oh, great. How about now? No? Maybe I didn't fail. Okay. Shoulder length. Right, right, level with the camera. See if they're having a hard time coming up on the camera, but they're going pretty fast. They're packing some power. So, I'm going to go collect this before my dog eats them. Okay, before I end the review, I have a couple more specs I'd like to go over on the hail fire. It's pretty light, even with the clips in it. Uh, you know, it's probably about a not quite a pound. This handle actually rotates, so it's easy if you want to, you know, move your hand around, angle it. You don't have to, you know, move that. You just have to move one arm. Uh, additionally, there are places to put a bandolier strap on it. You can, of course, hook the bandolier onto here, I think. Deploy strap, I'm sure you could. If not, you can just fold the strap over on itself and hook it on like that. But you can put, hook the bandolier right here. Of course, I would not recommend doing that because this is just going to be hitting against you while you run and that is going to be a pain and no one likes that. See? No one likes that. So I would recommend hooking one 
bandolier loop on here and the other one on here, assuming that you have a standard Nerf bandolier strap or the deploy strap, because then it will fit comfortably. You can put your waist here or whatever, and that's actually a lot better. As long as you keep it on your right side, I like that's left side. Either way, you need it to be facing forward, otherwise it won't work. The clip rotation is pretty smooth. It's the, when the handle comes back, it's kind of a pain. That is kind of a pain, I don't like that. I think they could have done some work on the clip rotation, made that a little bit smoother. There's the arrows, of course, showing you which way your clips are gonna go. Keep in mind that they align in the front, not the back, because right here, as you can see, that's where they go, so. You put your clip right here. I'll give you a top view. That's what happens. So that's what goes on. It is, of course, a flywheel system blaster. The acceleration trigger has been changed from the Barricade of the Raven and the Nitron to fit a finger very comfortably. Uh, Personally, I have an injured finger. You can thank my dog for that. But the, even with that, the trigger is reasonably comfortable. They, of course, have the standard Nerf typical digital camo all over it. The blue on this is very, very nice. It's a good choice color blue of, yes, yay. I don't know what that was. Yoda sentence. Okay, so two tack rails, and uh, I'd rate this blaster a 9.5 out of 10. The only problem is, um, the handle rotation. Thanks for watching.